Muscular Dystrophy UK is the charity for 70,000 people living with muscle wastage conditions. That's right, it's a rare condition where one in a thousand people suffer from this condition. I personally met up with Martin just to discuss his Move for Miles campaign and how he's affecting change for this disease. This is Martin. Martin has muscular dystrophy, a muscle wasting condition that has no treatment or cure. He's getting weaker and his legs are struggling to carry him. A family man with three girls that really do keep him on his toes, he needs to do the best he can to keep his muscles moving for longer. And he will. Martin is here to help Muscular Dystrophy UK raise awareness for others and fund world-class research. Muscular Dystrophy UK is the charity bringing individuals, families and professionals together to beat muscle-wasting conditions, but they need your help too. Move a mile for muscles in any way you can. Walk it, roll it, complete that mile on a space hopper. It really doesn't matter how you do it. Get involved and help to make a difference. Move a mile for muscles in 2016. If I can, you can too. Today I'm here with Martin Highwood at Woody's at the start of a walk all the way to Headland Stadium. A lot of you'll know it's Otley Run, but today we're going to do a charity walk and um, we're going to get to grips with Martin's motivation and, and completely what it's all about. And Martin, just before we get into the, the, the complete um, the, the grips of, of everything you're doing, I'm just wondering if there's any kind of friends, any motivation, any family which, which you've thrived off just to, to do a feat like this? Yeah, um, many actually, because uh, oh, that's, you know, since I've uh, had this condition, I've uh, met a lot of families in the community, and there's a lot of children with this condition, a different strain to mine, uh, called Duchenne muscular dystrophy, and, and uh, it's devastating. And uh, so I need to use my my disability and and, uh, and my diagnosis to uh, to uh, use it as a vehicle to try and help as many families and as young people as I can. Yeah, and. I think that's why it's so it's so brilliant they're doing it because in stuff like this it needs someone to be special and needs someone to do something different. Yeah. And and just in terms of, of the disorder and, and what 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 impact has it had on your life and, and what kind of it's you know, huge. Terms? It's uh, you know muscular dystrophy is a, a neuromuscular condition where where your muscles waste away and. Um, so everything about you physically deteriorates and yet your brain stays A1, knows everything about what's going on and uh, so, so uh, yeah, in, in, in many, many cases it's uh, devastating and, you know, some of these kids don't see 15 years old. So, so and all the while, they're absolute, they, they are on point, they know what's going on around them and it's, it, like I said, very sad. That's why it makes it that hard, I guess, that, to, to deal with and to, for family as well to deal with it. Yeah, yeah, it's, you know, it, it's, not, it's not one person, mm. it's everyone around that person, it's their family and their family's family, you know. Yeah. In terms of today and, and going forward, what things have you got planned and, and what things can people grab hold of and, and get involved with going forward in the future? You can follow us on Twitter, I'm at, um, at Highwood Martin um, and my, my objective is to get as many people up and down the country and I mean up and down the country, I've been all, all over the England with this and to get them involved with Move a Mile for Muscles, anyone can do it. If, if you're in a wheelchair you can roll a mile, get sponsored for it get on a bouncy hopper, get on a bike, go swimming, just cover a mile, get sponsored for it and tell everyone you're doing it. Get, yeah. a, get you know, Raise awareness for this condition. There's 2,000 people in Yorkshire with this condition alone and the chances are some people didn't even know that until I spoke to them today. You yeah, know. it just needs, like like yourself, as a leading force to, to drive this thing forward, isn't it? And, and people can see you as a bit of a... A bit of a mantle to go after and, and to get involved himself, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it, it, lots of things happen in my life which become a catalyst, and I'm hoping to be that catalyst for other people.
So what do you do for a living then, overall, like as a day to day? What is it you do? So, um, I, when I left school, my, I've always had a desire to fix things and use my hands and I was a mechanic and that's how, actually how I got diagnosed. I had an accident in the workshop, dislocated my knee and it didn't get better in the period of time that was expected. So, uh, one thing led to another and I went to Oxford and got diagnosed with this condition there. And I went from being a car mechanic and moved and re-educated myself and moved myself into the pharmaceutical industry. So I'm now in the industry working on clinical trials for, uh, and I see results for cancer, epilepsy, stroke and indeed muscular dystrophy. So I'm in a place where I can see what's going to go on and, and, uh, and it, looks, it looks promising and, uh, you know, and, and I, I, I need to keep moving and raise these funds so as we can fund these clinical trials and get these solutions. Josh Warrington has just joined onto the um, onto the walk with Martin, and we just had a brief chat off camera. How admirable it is what Martin's doing. Josh, what what kind of stuff? What what what's inspired you to, to join this walk, and where did you hear about it? Well, uh, Martin's been in contact, um, I'd say, over a year now. Uh, been keeping updates on uh, his progress and uh, his walks he's been doing. Um, earlier in the year, he uh, walked to the arena um, that I boxed April 16, and he, he came to the fight. And he just said, asked me whenever I can make one, and I'm more than happy to do so. I mean, um, what he's done is absolutely amazing. The guy's in a lot of pain, and you know, last yesterday he was down in London, uh, you know, walked to Wimbledon, and today he's up here doing another mile. So it's yeah. brilliant. It's brilliant. I mean, obviously with his condition, and it takes something special, something, something added extra to, to, to highlight the cause it is and, and to, to, to put the, 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 the disease in, in the public figure, you know, in the public eye and, you know, where do you think, where do you think he can go from next and what, what kind of result do you think he'll get from this? I think he'll just keep on uh, raising the awareness and uh, making it more aware to people. I mean, I've got to be honest with you, I didn't, I didn't know about the condition until I, until I found out about mine and when I did a bit more digging, it's scary how the number of people it does affect and yeah, yeah it's not heard of and it's not really publicised as much so hopefully you know every little bit what Martin does raises a bit of awareness and gets a bit more support so it's all good. Martin we're at the top of the Lewis Jones stand and um, what chaotic reception you received everyone was thrilled to bits Josh Warren was with you what does it mean to actually get here and, and make make the trip and see everything and the sun's out the game's nearly here yeah yeah it's a, it's a it's another milestone and uh I, I just um, I can't believe that I keep doing these things. It, it, you know, I set out to try and uh, raise awareness and, and raise barriers and bars on myself, and uh, I'm surprised sometimes when I get over them. <laughs> yeah, and that's it. It's, it it's, it's that emotion anyway. You finally cross the line, and I mean, you've got things coming up. And, and can you just tell us about what, what's next plan for you coming up? Yeah, we've got uh, the next walk is to the F1 at Silverstone, and then uh, we're doing we're back in Leeds for a walk to Ellen Road, and uh, we're going to meet some of the players there, and hopefully get some support there and then uh, we're down in the Olympic Park in London we're going to run around we're going to not run we're going to walk <laughs> uh, walk around the track there and uh, and uh, yeah make some noise there too Brilliant. what does it mean specifically to have people like Josh Warren actually walking with you um, what does it take your mind off it you know it, does it yeah exactly that you know we get it's an, up, it's an opportunity for me to get up close and personal with him and to ask him about his prep and you know it's, we're miles apart in, in the respect of physical ability, but the challenges and, and the, the talk about the challenges is, is very similar, actually, even though they're, they're, as I say, miles apart. Brilliant. Thank you, Ryan. Cheers. Thanks. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Thanks.